Hello everyone, and welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, where I continue to construct the International Space Station, or the best rendition of the International Space Station that I can, given the stock game at the moment. And we are lined up with our target. Uh, well, we should probably target our target. Our target is still not named the International Space Station, despite my best efforts, but we are going with that. And yep, it's about time to launch. This is Zvezda the next module of the International Space Station. And our throttle is up, ignition, and I will skip countdown, and go. Okay. And we are proceeding with the Proton rocket carrying Zvezda, which is somewhat different from the Zarya module. I have made it different. It is in fact heavier, as Zvezda was. And we do have OMS engines on it, in the form of puff engines. So we're carrying extra mop propellant. Okay, looking good so far. Nice rumble from the engines. Now, of course, it's important that we did have the OMS engines on Zvezda because we have to do a full rendezvous this time. We're not just placing it in orbit. Well, I was a little bit early. I should have zoomed in more. We will correct that. I've increased the force on the fairings, and I think went with three-part or four-part fairings instead of two this time. We will need to turn more northerly. Again, apologies for not hot staging. I don't actually want to find out what happens if we try. <laughs> Seems dangerous to me at this uh, point in Kerbal Space Program 2's life to try hot staging, frankly. That's uh, pretty good. Okay, uh, it's 120 there. We will separate. And we will dump the fairing. <laughs> that didn't help at all. Uh, except one of the fairing pieces apparently disappeared immediately. I'll ignite immediately. I'll be a good proton. Oh, I just dumped that stage. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to throttle up, I suppose. I thought those engines had not activated. Whoops. Alright, so this is our Zvezda. Somewhat bulkier at the back end than Zarya was. Okay, inclination is more or less solved. We'll coast to Apoapsis to finish up orbit. We are looking to meet up with it over here. Okay, three kilometers is not bad. Not quite the normal render range or the KSP-1 render range, but not bad. I should have put lights on, but then again, lights are extra parts, and this is going to have a lot of parts. Probably the best place to put lights would be the S0 truss, the central truss. And there is our target. Oh, uh, it's still trying to point at it. Whoops. Okay, that's sort of parallel. RCS on, backing off because we have to attach to that end. Sure, we're controlling from here. Oop. Definitely need to line up those solar panels. Okay, forward. I feel like I always have to tell it to do more just so that it holds the right place. It still wants to wiggle to the right wrong roll. Uh, 
We also need to check what's the... Let me just reduce the docking. Oh, there's two vectors. No, that's too complicated. Okay, it, wow. It really, they really didn't trust people to be able to dock, huh? Okay, I need to turn that docking acquisition force down to maybe 5% or something. All right, we've got Zvezda here. Next up, the shuttle is going to have to bring PMA-2 and 3, because we left PMA-2 behind last time, as well as the Z-1 truss. All of those have to have their own independent control, which is complicated. Um, I would like it if we got this into a better orbit, uh, instead of a lopsided orbit. So the first thing we're going to do is that. I think 180 would be fine. Okay, that's 180 periapsis. Okay, I'll take that orbit. A little bit lopsided, but 180 on average. The lopsidedness makes things interesting. Now, one of the PMAs, which is supposed to go, I think, on the bottom one, uh, has to be different because we don't have the large docking port for that one. So that one only has a small docking port. So it's actually small docking port to small docking port, which is wrong, but... Um, that is all we can do because we put that one there because trying to put the senior docking port on there in the shuttle bay did not work out very well. They clipped the bottom. So, let me slow this down, take SAS off because that will be standard procedure now. And stabilize by time warp. Oh, look at that jump. Mm. Okay, let us launch the shuttle and get the PMAs and the Z1 truss up here. This is supposed to be STS-92, but it keeps changing my vehicle name. And of course, it's set it to Runway 1 again. Let's get that back to the launch pad. So, one unknown here is that we actually have a standard docking port attached to a senior, and we need them to un undock from each other. That's one unknown. The other unknown is our RCS port arrangement isn't great for these PMAs. The reason for that is if we try to put symmetry on near the center you can see that they float and I don't want to tweak them individually so I just put them where the symmetry would actually attach to the body but these skewed adapters apparently have cyl cylindrical colliders or something or well at least the symmetry works that way it's not really the collider the symmetry just reads it that way so couldn't put the RCS ports in the location that I really wanted to We'll have to try it. That's the Z1 truss. It's basically a bundle of reaction wheels. Of course, we still have to have the RCS stuff and the control unit and the docking ports. And also, the Z1 truss really does have an antenna on it. So, we have that. All right. So, that is STS-9. And it is backed up. Okay. Struts are still connected. And we have Kerbals. And... And... We are uh, lined up well enough. We might be a little bit late. Oh, they're not even counting down. I'll skip it. Ignition and launch. Okay. May the Kraken's eyes be averted from our brave crew. as they venture forth. Well, roll program is complete. I have not so far thralled down the engines through max Q or anything. We don't accelerate that much. We are past the speed of sound. Okay, booster set. Oh, oh, it hit the wings, even with the separatrons. Eyeballing it, doesn't see, it's, we were a little bit late, as expected, so we should go further north. Well, that's the view, as we are approaching 1,000 meters per second and 40 kilometers. Again, we're deliberately increasing the inclination so that we can correct it while still doing this burn. If the little node starts wandering away from you, that means you're correcting it too early. And there we go. 
nearly perfect on the fly inclination correction. Okay, we need to turn back to our current heading. We'll let the external tank boost us to the 180 that the target's at. And then we'll use the OMS to get to the lower periapsis, 120, so that we can phase with it. Okay, separation and avoidance maneuver. Avoidance, faster, faster, avoid, avoid, avoid. There's definitely liquid fuel in here potentially, so hopefully... Okay, it is just the OMS engines, alright. It was showing me stuff here, so I was worried. We don't want this spinning out of control because we like the main engines. Okay, that's probably good enough. We are now catching up to the ISS. Proceeding. There's our debris going on a trajectory that it ought not to. Hopefully Combine 26 is still the space station. Yeah, I mean, that's the external tank, I think, and that's not the way it's supposed to be going, but whatever. Okay, I have uh, noticed something weird here. The icon for the ISS, it ain't moving. So, I'm gonna go to the tracking station and hope that that changes. Okay, no, no, it's not moving. That, that icon's not moving. Velocity, 2117. I don't think renaming is gonna help, but I'll try again. I keep wanting to rename this. Okay, it's renamed again, but it's standing still. Uh, do I dare turn to it? Okay, you're in orbit. You're moving. You're moving, I can see the planet moving below you. Okay, now, tracking station. Okay, now it's moving. They're both moving! Hallelujah. Okay, back to the space... I bet it's not called the International Space Station anymore. Oh, no. Fine, fine, as long as it's moving. As long as it's moving, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's apoapsis and periapsis are definitely not where I left them. Yeah, 198 there. 164. It's 198. Well, that's a lot of orbital decay. <laughs> 198 by 164 instead of where I left it. Okay, we are approaching the target. It's the station currently known as Combined 26. Okay, daylight. Oops, don't pause. Okay, we're gonna need that resource manager so that the mob propellant is all in the right tanks. Okay, those are topped off. Okay, I think 100 meters is fine. Let's try this. Okay, RCS off for now. I, the key thing is I don't know if this docking port and this docking port are going to be able to undock from each other since they're different sizes. Let's see. Okay, seems that way. Alright. There's the payload that we're controlling right now. Okay. So we've got the Z1 truss and one of the PMAs. This has to be PMA... Well, the PMA that docks on the bottom. This may get messed up later on because of this, but... We're going to control from here. Our orbit is changing a lot. Say us off. It's still changing. Five meters per second. Somehow we started departing at five meters per second. I don't know if I want to put reaction wheels on the station. They're gonna act like this. 
We haven't oriented the station quite right. I think that's the bottom port. Let's have that one reduce its acquisition force. Thank you. Yeah, that's the bottom port. The whole station's flipped around right now. It actually should be rolled the complete opposite direction. Okay. Wish I could have Kerbals, like, destroy RCS ports on EVA. Or stuff like that. Um, well, we're drifting for some reason. Uh, oh, we got, we, we got docked. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay, don't revert anything. Okay, we've delivered that PMA. We're going to undock this, and the Z1 truss has to go on the opposite side now. Forget if the Z1 truss is ahead of or behind the main solar trusses. Uh, uh, going fast. Okay, docked. <laughs> Okay, docking is a bit too easy around here right now. Uh, I think that'd get in the way of the... That antenna's definitely gonna get in the way of things. Anyway, we've got that for now. We'll just leave it for now, and we'll sort it out later. We still have one more PMA to do. No, I think the shuttle is outside of render range now. That, that change in target velocity scares the heck out of me. What is it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that doing? Oh no! Uh, the shuttle wing is... Okay, hold on. That's not good. Um, stop, stop. Okay, random disintegration, not good. Okay, we're back here again. Station looks fine. Shuttle looks fine. Okay. I forgot we have quite a few reaction wheels on this thing. It seems to deviate a little bit, but... Oh, oh, we docked anyway. <laughs> Going, did I lower the, the docking acquisition force too much? And the answer is no, it's still docked. Okay, undock and Z1 trust time. Hold on, let me switch to the shuttle. The shuttle is still intact. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, it's doing bad things here in speed terms. I don't know why it does that. Okay, but it's still intact, is important. Okay, it docked. Okay. The shuttle is no longer in range. Let me go to the tracking station and then turn to it. Maybe safer? May not be safer. Well, the wing isn't off. You know, look on the bright side. But target velocity is all over the place. Oh, I keep trying to use my throttle. Oh, the, sw the wing is floating off. Hold on. Having the shuttle in render range seems to be a bit of a problem. It's like it wants to be docked. Uh, and maybe we should just dock it to the station and then offload this stuff. After all, that is basically how they did it. Of course, this shuttle used cannon arm to do all of it. And then I'll restart the game again. I won't turn to the shell at all. I'll save the game and restart it. Okay. Right. Save. I can still highlight the wing. So, uh-oh. No, the wing's gone. Just like that. Uh, we can control it, it's just... 
I mean, because I mean, we're controlling the control surfaces, but it's not acting like it's attached. Does that mean on re-entry it's still going to act like it's there or not? Well, I'm going to let go of this payload. It's going to be on its own. And this is going to be very awkward, but... Here, uh, we'll just use the shuttle to get away. So the wing is probably going to go with you. And now we're going to try and deorbit the shuttle, folks. I don't know. Uh, this, this can get away from the wing, I think. The way that's moving, it recognizes that it's not close to the center of mass and it doesn't understand which way to move. I think. It's not moving the way these are. Oh shoot, can't time warp. Oh, it comes back and then floats away. <laughs> so if I time... Uh, well, let me finish this burn first. It's only the left wing too, for some reason. Oh, we've got the camera drift thing. And the out of control thing. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's floating off and swaying and not holding retrograde. It's, the camera's not focusing on it anymore. Oh, the wing's still there. It, it's floating by. Hold on. See? There it is. <laughs> the wing's hanging out, just not here. Our ability to control ourselves is partly dictated by the fact that the wing is getting further and further away from us. And I guess the camera is focused on the center of mass between the shuttle and its floating wing, maybe? Is that what's happening? And the fact that the wing is so, so far away, even though it's lighter, means that the camera is going to continue to deviate? I wonder how the station is. Well, let's leave this for a sec here. Is there even a point to continuing this? Station seems to be in good shape. <laughs> uh, let's get that other PMA over. Default name 6. Is it bad that I just want to ignore the shuttle for a bit? Something actually consumed electric charge on this. I haven't seen that before. I thought, like, only ion engines consumed electric charge or something. Yeah, it's using a lot of power. This is all this is right now. Good thing I put the batteries on, huh? Alright, there it is. Okay, half of our RCS fuel remaining. Oh, uh, has some trouble with certain directions. Okay. Okay, hold on. We need to actually roll a bit. Well, why is this ring? Uh, okay, we connected anyway. <laughs> it's too forgiving, really. It's got to teach people all the wrong things. Okay, uh, it's a little bit askew. We should probably straighten that up, but right now we don't have a whole lot of mob propellant. Actually, it's surprising how little mod propellant it says we have all together. I thought we had more in here. Yeah, I don't know why the rear mod propellant tank is empty. We didn't finish it off. We didn't use all of it. So, that's peculiar. Alright, back to the shuttle. Okay, well, we're back at the shuttle. I restarted the game, but it hasn't helped. So... Maybe we can send a rescue mission? It does have a docking port. Of course, the Kerbals could also EVA, potentially. So, I don't know. Maybe we should just EVA them now. But, I think I'll save that for the next episode. So, the first thing we're gonna do is try to rescue the shuttle crew. 
and we'll try to send up a, just a regular pod for them. But yeah, I don't see any way this shuttle is going to come back down safely. So that will be the plan. I don't know if it's safe to send another craft to it either. Or whether that craft is going to get all glitched short. If it can even approach it. We are going to find out in the next episode. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.